Guys, Tiger Tutorials here, and um, yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna do a little bit of tutorial here today, but I just wanna let you guys know I don't add people on Skype, and my name is like extremely complicated, so I'm not gonna be giving it out. I'm not gonna be adding people except for private people from now on. If you wanna contact me, I'm thinking of another way. Everybody can tell me a way where people cannot like resolve and find out your IP, so that'd be great. Um, cause I have to use a VPN to make sure I don't freaking shit. Tracked or nothing, like, you know, well, not tracked, but you know, people, I don't want people pulling my IP and DDoS me anymore. You know what I'm saying, but, so. Yeah, if you guys could give me like an idea of how I could contact you, I'm not too sure of any other ways. I mean, kick isn't a way at the moment because my phone doesn't charge and stuff and it's got problems with it, but um, maybe there's another way. But all right, let's get into the tour. I just want to let you guys know that. You know. Alright, so I'm just going to be showing you guys how to like fix your errors with PSP export pretty much. So, I can't really for an example because I haven't been getting errors lately, but basically guys, if you're getting like an error where it says there's something, like any type of error, this is what I recommend you do. I, I recommend you download a fresh copy of PSP export, which I'm going to be uploading a new download link today. And after that is done, I want you to go open up. This is gonna be the folder you get. This is gonna be the folder. Everything you need. All right, guys. Um, yeah. So you're gonna be downloading this new copy of the export. Just wanna open it up regularly. You don't need to run as administrator. None of that BS. Just wanna open it up regularly. Once it's open, you wanna just extract the fresh PSID. I don't know if I even have back to do this. I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. And then I'm gonna exit and show you what you need to do next. So it's not, this is not gonna give you an error, the first part. You have a fresh copy, it will not give you an error. Let you know that now, guys. If it does, then there's something the matter with a program on your computer, some something with your computer. Or you're just running an older version of Windows, something. So, yeah, you just wanna find your export backup for your PS3 that you made. If you didn't make one, go make one. You want to be able to make it so you see copyright stuff, whatever, and you know that doesn't really work anymore. Just in case, you don't get no errors. So, we're just going to take a from this. So, yeah. You just want to go PSID dot, then we don't need to put it there, but I'm just going to go like this. And, okay, I'm not going to type it there. Type it in here, guys. Alright. And you just want to save this. Um, you could save it in this folder, but I don't know if that messed it up or not. Never really gave me a problem, but instead I just put it in my documents, I believe. If I could, I, just I, I'm not a big fan of this. I just wanted to use it because never really was a big user of it, and I never got to learn much about Windows 8 because I really didn't like it when I first tried it out. So I have mine right here, guys. Could you say 16 bytes? I think you know it's like done correctly. But all you want to do is save it wherever you know you'll be able to find it. Once it's saved, go ahead and exit that. And you just want to reopen it. And now, you want to extract a fresh... Um, oh, you need the keys. Don't forget, uh, I forgot to tell you that, guys. But for extracting the PSID.bin, you need this to, like, telling the program what to do. You know what I'm saying, guys? So just remember to put that in. I totally forgot to tell you guys to do that. Yeah, so the next part you want to do is extract the whole backup. And you just want to take a backup that you know has all the accounts you want to edit comments and stuff on, guys. It should be, I don't know, I'm just going to use the same one. I don't know if I have any room in my folder, but I'll just show you anyway. Um, this might be a new one, actually. Yeah, that's a new one. So, I'll extract it to my C drive. I don't think, yeah, that should be good. But, if you already have a dev underscore hdd, put it in another folder and then do it fresh again. Or you could just delete the other one. I have two of them. This one I'm not going to use probably ever again because this is really old. It only has one account. This one, yeah. You guys don't need to know that, but I just want to let you know. Um, let's come up with that. Just letting you know that it'll give you errors if you don't extract it to that area. You just want to come over here, start it. Take about three, four seconds. Maybe a little bit longer. 
Okay, any second now, man. Okay, there we go. Should say success. If there's any errors, then you need to get new fresh copy of PS3 export. Um, which I'll be putting a download link up to after this video. Probably Mediafire because I figured Mediafire is more reliable is what a lot of people seem to say now. Um, so I'll just be using Mediafire from now on most likely. So a lot of people will be telling me guys, I don't know if it's true, but Google Drive is less reliable than other, you know, like, things. Alright, so let's get down to the basics, I guess. I mean... You obviously won't have this in here, because this is like a pre-made backup that I just re- like, you know, undid. And I have this in here because it's like, yeah, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it was already made, and then I freaking put the World at War DLCs on it, and I kept it. So basically, for like, comments, guys, you want to go into the home folder, 001, friend I am, and in here, if there's nothing in here, guys, you just want to make a new text document. But that's not only the only thing. You want to rename it new common. And you don't have to name it dot dat because we have to do that a certain way. Now you want to follow my instructions on this because I don't know why, but I seem to, you know, I seem to be beginning to think that it's like, I don't know, people are just making it a text document or a dat without changing the encoding. If you have it in ANSI coding, the moving characters won't go in, and if you don't have it in UTF-8, it won't even, like, show the comment. You know what I'm saying? It won't, it won't load in. It has to be in UTF-8. So if you don't have Notepad++, I recommend you get that. I have a download link in another video called how to, you know, get mod comments on official firmware. Or, I don't know if it's official firmware, but it's how to get mod comments in Avatar. So the Avatar's do not work anymore. So you just want to change that to UTF. And then you want to make sure that this is not a text file. You want to go all the way to the top to all types. Oh, did I get that? All right, right there. Now you want to go to the end of it and put dot dot. Just like that. And once it's saved, then you can just put whatever you'd like in there. Like moving characters. All right, guys. Um, this is like, I, I put a website in before. I just want to let you guys know, though. Like, because a lot of people will be getting confused with that encoding shit. And they don't get moving characters to work. And then they get mad thinking I lied to them or something, which I kind of left it out, but I fixed, you know, I fixed my mistakes, guys. Alright, so, next thing would be your game folder. Now, I'm just letting you guys know, if you want to go on Model for 2 Bypass, it's not that hard, you don't need to be on Kiosk firmware, because a lot of people will be thinking you do. All you need to do is come in here, there will be a file called default underscore mp.self, like right between these two. You just want to delete it, and then you put your patch. I have a patch.ff, which you'll probably not have, but that's just a spec ops menu that I use. And this right here is the menu, bypass menu I usually use, which is Ray Bypass. Which is a trick shot patch. It's supposed to be like a rip off of Helios V2. Same thing though. Um, if you guys want to put themes in, you simply. I don't. Oh, wait, I don't. <laughs> probably looking at the name, like, what the fuck is that? It's like, it's some superhero fucking girl. I don't know. I put it for my fucking friends this video a long time ago, guys. So if you guys want themes, I'm just going to show you now what to do for those. I mean, you can install them straight to your PS3, and I'll do that in another video, most likely. Um, all you want to do is go to Google. I mean, I'll probably put a link to the website, because I know no one wants to go to Google and look this shit up. So, once you're at Google, just look up free PS3 themes, and it's literally right here. It's literally the very first fucking website. So if you cannot find this, guys, with Google, then you have, like, no brain. So you know that now. So once you go to the website, there's going to be a lot. Well, not, like, millions, but 11,505 currently, as you can see. And there is a lot, actually. There's, like, all the paid. Well, not all the paid ones. I don't know if there's a paid ones. But there's Advanced Warfare, obviously. I haven't seen that one. That one's new. Um, fucking, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a big basketball fan, but Golden State, uh, PS4 theme, it looks kind of like PS4, it's kind of annoying though, the, the sounds or whatever, the action sounds, um, Hello Kitty, Dragon Ball Z, there's a lot of shit here guys, just in case you want themes, and all you have to do is to, like, do anything with it, you'll download it, right, you'll just go to the, 
click on the name of it, and once you're here, oh, fuck. Oh my god, fucking ads galore. Okay, if you want to click download here, guys. Um, I usually just do like this, I right click it and it's open in the app so I don't get fucking errors. I do that with everything. It makes it so much easier for me. Because then it doesn't actually have to, like, you know, you don't have to go to the next page because you're fucking it's not automatically. All you want to do is you want to save it, right, guys? Once it's saved, I'm not going to save it because I don't want it, but. Once it's saved, you just go to your download folder. Yes. And once you're in download folder, you'll find it. It'll be like whatever the name of it plus the dot pgt. You should be able to find it right on the right side of it. You just want to copy it into your theme folder, right? You just copy it in there. It's like this one. It should be a pgt. Yeah. I'm just getting confused with the name. But yeah, guys. And that's like the basics of backup guys. And once you're done with that. One thing you need to make sure you do is make another folder right here. Um, and once you make it, just name it whatever. I could name it fucking bitch. I don't know. Fucking just, just name it modded backup, I guess. I mean, I just name it whatever. And once you have it just like that, you just want to drag it in there. And then your setup, that's your base pretty much. You can just edit it as much as you want. Keep putting it in. Edit everything in there. Do whatever you want with it, guys. And then you could just go back to the PS3 export. I already have it open on no, no. Yeah. And then all you need to do, I'm supposed to you guys know which one is which when you do this. A lot of people get confused. You do the PSID bin, keys file. Um, I'll show you that real quick. Alright, once it's here, like, then you just want to get the keys up, huh? And now for the output directory. Now remember this, guys. Output means, like, where you're, like, putting the dot dot extracted, like, whatever you want to call it. Like, the actual backup that you're going to be using on your PS3. So you just want to go to your USB flash drive for that. Which, I'm going to just show you real quick. Mine says, like, local disk to me. That's that comes with a flash drive. A lot of bullshit on it. And once you come on to here, you just want to find the folder. Like, I don't have one. I'm going to a new one. Perfect. Whatever. Okay. And it's not going to give you an error. This one probably isn't going to give me an error because it has a space. If it has a space, it's going to give you an error. Warning you to that now. Alright, guys. I'm just going to fix that. Just if, like, uh, I don't want to show you because it's annoying. I'll redo the whole process. But. Make sure there's no space in the name. I've gotten errors for having space in the name my backup before. So the next part is you wanna get the content directory which should be in your local disk C. It should be the modded backup folder like I made it. This is the base obviously. You just wanna click OK. And I'm gonna make this real quick. It should be fairly quick because there's nothing really on it. And just to prove to you that it is going like I don't know how to explain it, like it's going into that like folder, and the folder you're putting on your PS3 pretty much. For people that don't understand what I'm trying to say is a lot of people think the opposite way when the output and the content, right? And I just don't know what to do because I can't really help them. Like they just think completely opposite of the way it's supposed to be done. But uh well guys, that's like basics of backups. I just want to share that with you guys for like all the errors you've been getting in the past and haven't really been able to help you guys and I haven't been making tutorials lately because of all the problems going on and yeah. So uh, some of you guys think of this tutorial, give me some more ideas. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That's all I got for the video today. Alright, leave a like if you enjoyed, comment and subscribe for more official for more modding tutorials of course and backups all right guys see you in the next video yeah.